My buzzword for 2022 is plastic smog. Loss and damage. Plastic pollution. Food waste. We are ingesting about five grams, so that's about the size or the, the weight of a credit card worth of plastic every single week. Plastic in the ocean, it becomes more toxic over time as it absorbs more chemicals. Interestingly, if food waste were a country, as far as its greenhouse gas emissions, it would be the third largest emitter. I think even climate scientists were shocked that we had uh, temperatures more than 40 degrees in the UK. It uh, killed more than 3,000 people around the country. We are finding microplastics in the bodies of thousands of species. And we're talking about the potential for conflict all around the world as people flee the impacts of climate change. If we can both be wasting a third of our food and also having one in 10 people food insecure. And so that to me, I think, is the, the duality that we really need to fix. My daughter is 10 years old now. She will be 88 years old in the year you know, mm -hmm. 2100. What would the world be like? As any parent, you think about that every day. I don't have children, but I have a little niece, so it would make me really sad if I think about that I have to take her to the beaches I work with leatherbacks and tell her, look, Charlotte, this is where your auntie was working with sea turtles, you know, 10 years ago. They were amazing animals, but unfortunately they had left. They're not there anymore. we can decide if we would like to use plastics or not. We need to focus on making better chemistry, better packaging, and better systems to capture waste in cities. We actually have all the tools and resources we need today to solve the problem. I don't have children, but I have nieces and nephews. It's my responsibility to them to, leave, to do something so that I don't leave them with a world that is very difficult for them to prosper in.